YOLO composing gloves here. And today we're going to be talking about how to record audio into Edison. I have had a number of people say my old video is no good, too com well, not too complicated, just too many sidetracks. So let's jump straight to it. So here I have a patch. I want to record it, right? I want to record it into Edison. So I'm going to route it to a channel. On this channel, I'm going to load Edison. You can get to it from here, or you could just hit Control E. It loads one for you just like that. So it's pretty awesome. Now I need to just record arm it, which just means I just push the record button. Now it's record armed. And as soon as I start playing, it's record arm on input, which means as soon as it starts receiving an input, it'll start recording. Watch. And then to stop it, I just click and I'm able to drag a selection out. So I could, for example, just take this bit out or I could take the whole thing out. Control A to select everything and drag. And boom, bada bing, you are recording. There are a couple modes here that are worth noting. So you could have it start recording as soon as you push this button, which is all right, I guess. You can also have it start recording on play. And this is really cool because this is the one I use the most. <laughs> so let's come over here and I have here a pattern, this crazy beefy thing. And this is just for the sake of demonstration in a track, you know, you might have a whole bunch more. And so I'm going to just simply record arm it. And as soon as I push this play button, it's going to start loop recording, essentially. Or every time it loops, it's going to put a marker down. Now, if I push play right now, it just unrecord arms. That's because Edison is in focus. It's got the keyboard focus. I could click away and hit space bar and it'll work. Or I could just click the button up here, this play button, and it will work. I'm going to click away and push space bar. And so we see it working and we see we have <clears throat> we see we have these song jumps here and I can actually control click them and get perfectly synced to loops. And this patch has some randomization in it, which you get you heard it was different every time. And so maybe I'll pick one that I thought was extra juicy after going through and auditioning several. And I could just, you know, control click, not control click, just click drag uh, this little icon right here and bam, away I go. Now, if you want to record your voice through this thing, it is really, really easy as well. All you do is you come over and instead of using a patch to record through here, I'm going to switch to my mic input, mic input and I'm going to mute this. So since Edison is in the chain and we see it's getting signal, it will record. So we are good to go there. And we could do on play. Maybe you're, you're doing vocal takes and I like to do these through Edison because of that on play feature. We could do it right now or on input so that it will start recording as soon as I'm talking. So if I, now I'm recording. And so you see, it's, it's pretty great, kind of like an automatic thing. Uh, I would not record large, uh, large amounts of audio into Edison. It also recommends this in the manual because it's just not built for that. I believe it loads everything into RAM. You'll run into issues, I guarantee it. Cause if you go, like I used to try and do things over an hour and it does not work. You'll, you'll end up having file corruption and other issues. But that's how you record audio into Edison. This is a much more condensed version than my other video, which I just got hung up on all kinds of little details and whatever. But that's that. If you have any other questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.